Mike here from Clearview Mirrors. Today we're going to do a fitting on a Ford Ranger. It's a current model Ranger and uh, it's extremely similar to the Mazda BT50, uh, the current models of course, but the Ford Mirror will not go onto the Mazdas and vice versa. The bolt patterns are the same, the, the trims are the same, the bolts are the same, but the shape of the base around the door here is different, so you can't retrofit one to the other. You need to specify which one you, you need. What we're going to do now is I'm going to show you the tools that you need because there are a few special tools here that the average handyman probably won't have. So I'll show you those first and, um, and you can make up your, your own mind whether you want to fit it yourself. Okay, let's go and have a look at the tools. Okay, the tools we're going to need for do this job The bolt, three bolts that hold the, the mirror on have a head like this. It's called a T30. They're a torque, what they call a torque um, tool or a power bit. Okay, you can also get them in an Allen key, right? The, the Allen key kits are quite cheap. You can buy them if, uh, if you need to from uh, some of the $2 shops and places like that. You'll also need a Torque 20, which is the smaller version of the Torque 30, right? I'm showing you that because that's what, that's what uh, I'll use. And we, we have those Torque 20 and a Torque 20, uh, 30 there. And also got them in an Allen key. And I've also got them in a screwdriver, so if you've got that, it'll help also. You're going to need a flat screwdriver, just a, a regular run-of-the-mill flat screwdriver, a Phillips head, Ford and Mazda have mixed the screws up a little bit in the door, right, and a tiny little flat screwdriver like that, and it's just designed for popping out a plastic uh, cover over the door latch, right, and uh, and I'm cheating with a uh, an electric uh, screwdriver because it makes the job faster for us. If you've got a hook something like that, we use a hook to hang on the door and hold the door panel because it's got cables attached to it and we don't actually take the door panel away from the car. This is the kit that, that we use, and it's got all sorts of bits in there, right? And um, it's a blue point uh, tool kit, and it's got a, a range of different um, parts in it. If you've got a kit something like that, some guys will have them if you're a little bit mechanical. If not, that's what you need. But you can do it all with just those two um, Allen key, Okay, take your flat screwdriver, right, and just put it in here, right, and prise this cover off here, right, and it go, that goes over the speaker in there. It's just a push-in fit, and then you need to do the same thing in here, pop the, the popper out, and then lift this up, right, so that you're pulling that there off of that, okay? Take the speaker wire out, Right, and then you've covered that. Now I've shown you what to do. Hit the pause button, go and do it. Come back, hit the replay button. The little screwdriver I mentioned to you there before. Pull your door handle out like this, and you'll see a cover plate in there. You need the little screwdriver just to get behind that. And I'll change hands here. And without scratching the panel, try and pop that that panel out like that okay once you've got that out it just pushes back in and this is where you need your torque 20 allen key okay we're back to the flat screwdriver again and you've got to take this this um, plastic panel off here and the easy way of doing it is to go in there very very gently Right, without marking anything and just prising that back off there like that. Right, slide in here and you'll find that that will just pop off and work your way along until you've got the whole panel off the car. Okay, hit the pause button, go do those last two things that I showed you. Okay, I'm cheating a little bit here with the electric screwdriver. 
but this is the Torque 20 that I told you about. It's not an Allen key, and you can't do it with an Allen key. Okay, take that off. That, I think that's the only um, 20 that we've got. And now we're gonna use the Phillips head. And we've got two Phillips heads here in the door. There's one down in there. And we've got one up here. It's a definite help if you've got a magnetised end as well. And we've got two Phillips heads down the bottom of the door panel here also. Up in there. Somewhere in there. Okay. You should have four Allen key screws. Usually a, uh, a number one head will, for the, for the Allen key will be fine. Okay, back to your flat screwdriver again. Uh, this is where uh, you might need to uh, put a couple of earplugs or something in your ears because this makes a hell of a noise when it comes off. It's not damaging anything, but you need to find somewhere underneath the door panel here where you can pop that screwdriver in, right? Find a little prizing position, then we've got to put a bit of tension back on the door. I like to get the hands underneath there like that. and. Pull it out like this, work your way around the door until they're all out and you'll get some little fall out like that. Make sure you don't lose them because you need to put them back. Okay, once, once you've got them all out, the door panel will hang loose, right? And then what we do, we take the door panel off like that and then hang it like so. Just try and hang it there so that it'll stay and at this point we now pull the wires out the door. Now go and do what I've just showed you. Okay, hit the pause button, go back, do that and then come back and hit the play button again. Okay, now you're back. I'm assuming that you've got your door panel and everything off. Need to take that little screwdriver again. Quite handy, I've got a little bend on it. it, just acts like a little prizer bar. You need to go underneath this rubber here because this is where one of the screws are that holds your mirror head in place for your mounting. Just prize that out, it's only like a little cover. Okay, it's pretty easy. All right, take that off there then. And uh, then what you need, is you need your torque 30, right? Part here. Undo the two bottom ones first. You can do this without taking the door trim off, but it's really, it's really fiddly stuff. Now, if you've got a, a wind deflector on here, just remember that it's, that it's probably double-sided taped to the, to the mirror here, right? So you've got to try and get that off without breaking it. And sometimes that's a bit of a challenge. Now, before you get, once you loosen that screw off, right, it might pay, before you try and take the mirror off, to just break its grip here, right? If it's not, no, it's not double-sided. So that'll be okay. I will take that off, hold on to your mirror. Once you get that off, right, slide it out gently. Okay, there you go. There's the old mirror, she's a little bit dusty and a bit dirty, but you can see where the the air reflector's gone on it. Okay, now you've got that off. There's no wires because the plug's right at the, the mirror base itself. Now we're gonna get a clear view mirror and we're gonna fit that on. Okay, this is our clear view mirror. Okay, when you fit the mirror on, we've, we've got a special boot here. You need to make sure that your wires are down through the center piece here. 
right, and are free. If you trap them in the door, there's no question about it, you will do some damage to your electrical system, and it's usually not pretty. So, if you've got somebody there that can give you a hand, it's a real good idea, because these are a little bit tricky getting the screws in. Okay, I'll pass this over to you, Tony. Now, when you fit it, give me my hand back, you're going to have to go up underneath this here. All right, so you're going to have to sort of put a little bit of pressure on that to go up in there first. All right, make sure that your rubber and everything's sitting correctly, and then lift it up and feed it in and make sure you line your holes up here. Okay, make sure that your wire here is loose. Don't trap it between the door and your mirror because you'll end up with a short in your wiring and like I said to you, it's not good. Okay, now I'm using the original screws here and I'm using a screwdriver and why am I doing that? Because it's easy. Okay, I'm going to put all three of these in first and I'm just going to put them in loose to start with. Make sure you don't cross thread them, right, and you get a few turns into the mirror before you go putting any pressure on it. Otherwise you'll end up with a damaged thread. Okay, make sure you're sitting nice and neat around there and do your top bolt up first. Okay, just gently. Take it up till it all touches. Feel it go together. Okay, this one's tight. It's not crossed, it's just got a bit of dirt and a thread, I think. A bit of paint, maybe. But it should be okay. Okay, at this point, double check your wiring again. Make sure it's loose. Okay, now I'm going to get the Allen key. I'm going to nip them down. And I'll start with this one first because it's a bit tighter. Sometimes when they're powder coated, there's a little bit of paint gets into the thread, but usually okay. Go around them, make sure you, you got them all up nicely. You'll feel them. You'll feel them pull in, and it'll seat that rubber up nice and neat on the door, and uh, just sort of take them up until they're firm. You don't need to go crazy on them. If you do, you do some damage. You'll notice that the, the original screws don't have any washers behind them, but they've got a big surface head which will hold sufficient tension on them and they certainly won't come undone. They're a pretty good screw. Okay, that's all pretty good. Okay, go out to the shed, do that when you're finished. Come back and we'll finish putting this uh, baby back together. Okay, I'm assuming now that you've got your mirror on, the next thing we do is we plug the electrics in before we put the door panel back on, right? Because by doing that we can test the electrics and make sure that everything works. For, you know, for what they've done, whereas I'm in health. Uh -huh. Okay, checking to go out, checking that it goes back in up, down, 
and of course we need an indicator. Now that we know that that's all good, we can proceed and finish the job off. Okay, so after you've checked your electrics, push your mirror head out, it'll find its location point and, and we'll start. Don't get too concerned about the wiring at the moment. We're going to put the door panel back on now. Okay, get rid of that. Keep this up high and then seat your door panel on up on the top of your door rubber up here. Make sure that it's all sitting down nicely, like that. And you, sh you should have, like I did, had a couple of uh, popper clips that came out. One came out from up here on the the, the um, speaker cover, okay? And uh, the other one was from in here in the door. So you need to have a bit of a look back here and see exactly where it came from. It's up this end up here. And uh, make sure you put that back in and that's just reinforcing your, your lock on your door panel. Okay, make sure that when you sit it down, all your, all your, your popper clips and everything are all sitting in. Once you get it to that point, just give it a bit of a slap, like that, and it should all go down and go back into place quite easily. Just run your finger along the bottom and make sure it's, it's seated all the way around. If it is, you'll know all your popper clips and everything are all sitting in properly. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take these four Phillips head screws, okay, and we're going to put those back in where they came out of. So. Once again, I'm going to I'm going to cheat. Two down the bottom. Obviously, if they all go into place the first time, you know that your door panel sit in the right spot. So now we're going to put that torque 20 screw in, and it's in the centre of the door panel. Alright, so we'll just go in there with that. And that flat cover you'll see a little bit of a scallop. It fits around that, that rounded piece up in there. Just put it back into the corner and make sure that you get it seated correctly. And it just pushes in like that. And it should stay there when you open the door panel all right. That's all good. Now you've got your electrics plugged in here and your wires are nice and loose here in the mirror. Just feed it down into your door panel like that. Right, and basically just hide it down in there where it's out of the road. Push your connector and everything down, and that'll all be okay. And then we're going to put this cover back on with your speaker on it. Okay, now this loom is really as tight as it needs to be for it to fit and there's no extra length in it so you've got to make sure that you get this over here first right once you get that in you've got to prise the top out to get your popper clip to sit in there correctly right and then just push it into place all right once you've got that done put your cover back on here like that and once again it just pushes in clips into place and uh, other than your cover over your your door here, that should just all go back into place like, just like that, there you go, and uh, now you're all good to go, I'll show you what it looks like, there's the mirror, take off your protective cellophane and everything comes in the box.
and give it a wipe and basically you're ready to go travel. Okay, your mirrors fold back. If they get a hit from behind, they'll also go forward. Okay, and they've got their own driving position in them. I'd just like to take this uh, bit of time to say thank you for buying our product and I hope you enjoy your mirrors and uh, thanks for supporting uh, Clearview.